This is Kelly Nightlinger, and I'm a little hard to see tonight because I'm talking to you by candlelight and lantern light. And I wanted to give a little off the grid, around the cabin talk tonight. So I choose to live off the grid. I've lived off the grid for three years in Alaska, and now I'm continuing that with my Montana cabin build. And it's an enjoyable for me. It gives me peace to not have traffic, to not be stuck in a city, to not be commuting an hour and a half one way as I used to in one of my former jobs as a Michigan State Trooper. And I like the simple things in life. So right now, I'm going to be attempting to fill this British coal mining company um, lantern. It's from Wales in the UK, and it comes with this very not so great funnel. And so I'm gonna be filling it with lamp oil. And so hopefully, just bear with me here a second as I get it started. Oh, I'm spilling more than, that's what I was worried about. It's not the most efficient method to fill anything. So, in light of that, I'm going to fill a cup with some fuel and hopefully that'll be a little bit easier to fill. Wow, not a very efficient method whatsoever. Actually, I don't even see it going down. Kind of a poor design in filling it. Hopefully it doesn't extenuate out into the product itself. So let's see. Boy. I don't have a funnel that small. I seem to be getting it in now. So anyways, I spend a lot of time cutting firewood, chopping firewood, stacking firewood, and I've got a nice warm wood stove behind me. I spend times filling lanterns and lights and utilizing solar panels and getting ready for winter and just preparing for weather that could be coming. So it's a lot different than living on the grid. But I exponentially feel like I reap the rewards because I love living this way. Peace and quiet. Usually my only company is my neighbor's dog passing through the area to see if I have any tasty morsels to share. So... Oh, I guess it's full already. So I'm actually spilling it as we speak. So I'm going to soak this wick. Which fits very snugly down inside this lantern. And then I'm going to tighten the wick on the threads. So, you know, living this way isn't for everyone. I'm here by myself doing this. Um, I do have occasional visitors, but they usually don't like to stay more than a few days because they like their modern amenities and they think I'm a little um, crazy for living this way. And then I have other people who romanticize about it and are fans of mine from all over the world who say I inspire them to live this way and I hope I do. I hope they're not just saying that, but even if they are just saying that, at least they see that there's another way. You don't have to follow the rat race. You can find affordable off-the-grid 
land in the United States and also in Canada and I'm sure many many other countries as well. Actually I wouldn't mind living off the grid in parts of Africa at some point in my life. Okay so I'm gonna give this lantern a shot. Now I have no instructions with it. I'm totally just basing this upon my other lantern experience. Hopefully this lantern oil, lamp oil, doesn't affect the veneer of my $4 Goodwill table. Actually, I got three of them for $4. So by the way, a lot of people will say to me, well, how can you afford this? Are you independently wealthy? And I just laugh. I work very hard, those who know me, and I live very frugally. Most of the clothes I wear are Goodwill clothes, and 